Hello there. Today, I am doing another first impressions video, and this video is going to be first impressions of the house of Lorenzo Viorese. I bought the sample set. Um, you get 16 2 mil samples for £41 from Les Santas. Les Santas? Les Santas? Um, so I thought that's quite good. Uh, there's a few of them that I wanted to try, including Sandello. And it's not in there. So I'm gonna have to buy I'm gonna have to buy a sample of that separately somehow. Um because it's been around for a while and people rave about it. Like I've heard really good things about it, and I'm a bit skeptical that the latest version of it's going to have like real sandalwood in it or lots of real sandalwood in it and it's how's it going to be what's it going to smell like is it really that good um so i want to sample it certainly before i pay any prices for it you should be able to get those villa raises at a uh, discounters and stuff like that but not anymore um so yes this is quite good i think 16 two mil samples for 41 quid isn't bad I think that's that's quite good, and it comes in this nice little box. And I have picked four to try on video today. I don't know if I'll try any more on videos, but I will try them all. Um, but I don't know if I'll make videos of the other ones. These are the four that I, w I really wanted to try. Um, do I have note listings for them? Not yet. Um, should I try them on skin? Should I try them on paper? I think I'll try them on paper. And if any of them tickle us, then I'll try them on skin. Um, where are my thingies? I've never used all of these. Shocking. My little, little sample paper things. So, I'll tell you the ones that I've got here. We have Womo, Patchouli, Piper Negrum, Piper Nigrum, and whatever this is called, Atman Zaman, X-A-M-A-N. Uh, that one was recommended to me by Thomas from uh, early Greek, so I'm actually really looking forward to that, because he's not wrong very often, is Thomas. So, let's see what we have. We'll go with Womo first. I'm assuming this is going to be an Italian, like a classic... Italian sort of a classic Italian sort of cologne sort of thing is like the staple from the house, you know, because Womo means man, so it's essentially Villarese man. Um, I'll get the I will get the notes up if you give me one second. Womo bottles are nice, the bottles are nice. Um, so apparently this is aromatic and fresh and spicy. So of course I'll <laughs> I will read the notes before I spray it. I've got a Malfi lemon, bay leaf, lavender, bergamot, orange, coriander, petty grain, and elemi. That's the top. The mid is sage, clove, pepper, thyme, juniper, and neroli. The base is vetiver, rosemary. Oak moss, patchouli, sandalwood, musk, Brazilian rosewood, and cedar. So, I wasn't far off. Um, vetiver, big vetiver in the base, apparently. But, good sample. Good spray on the sample. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice lemon. It's got a sweetness. I think, that's, I think you've got to have a little bit of sweetness with a lemon, because it, otherwise it gets too sour. Um, it is a very nice citrus cologne, that. Massive lemon. Uh, vetiver in it as well. I'm not getting much else at the minute, to be honest. Fuck it, I've got four of these. I'll spray them on my skin. So the first one, Womo. Going on skin. Oh, do you know what I've just done? I've just sprayed it over the packet, the package of uh, the package of me, of me, uh, me scent strips. That was not clever. I think I got away with it though. So once again, this is a little bit darker. Um, I'm getting 
bay leaf. Definitely, I'm getting the lemon's huge, the bergamot's huge, the clove, a bit of pepper, the vetiver half pushing through. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. If you like a fresh citrus quality cologne, it's not an eau de cologne, it's an eau de toilette. So I imagine the, the, uh, I imagine this will go for like at least three or four hours, you know. Um, anyway, next. Next, we will go with the patchouli. Now, if you know anything, I if you know anything, if you know anything about this channel, uh, you know I like how the Italians use patchouli. And this is an Italian house. Lorenzo Villarese is Italian. And it is an Italian house. And Womo is a very Italian clone. That's really nice. Um, it smells quality as well. It doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like cheap, you know. If you if you wear that, people are going to think he's taking his he or she, or they, or them, or anyone has taken their time. The point is they've taken their time on what cologne on what perfume they've they've decided to wear, and that they've decided to spend some money on it too. It's really nice. So if you know anything about this channel, you will know I like how the Italians use patchouli. And I was enlightened by this. I was enlightened to this idea by none other than Pavarotti. Pavarotti is a patchouli fragrance with so much else going on, but it is a patchouli fragrance and it is beautiful. I absolutely love it. Um, so I've always kept an eye out for Italian patchoulis. Uh, this is another Italian patchouli, Moods by Crizia. That's really good. Um, of course, now I've mentioned, I've completely forgotten about the other Italian patchoulis I've got. Um, but I do like, I do like it. And there are others that are there. So, um, the notes for patchouli by Lorenzo Villarese. Top notes, patchouli, lavender. Mid notes, patchouli. Base notes, patchouli, vetiver. Sandalwood, oat moss, cedar, benzoin, and musk. I am looking forward to this. On my left arm. Oh, because I haven't sprayed any of these yet. I was going to test all of them on... Uh, I was going to test all of them on... Um, on video. Look, can you see it's snowing? <laughs> it's the... Um, it's the particles of the scent. I didn't know the camera would pick that up. It did it. It did it on another video that I did. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, this is nice. This is really nice. This is a really nice patchouli. This reminds me a bit of Profumum Roma's patchouli. Oh, that's really good. That's really, really good. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's a strong, deep patchouli. You know, it's not like a, it's it's a good quality patchouli. Um, it really does remind us a little bit of a Bois nineteen or what used to be the the Bois nineteen twenty eau de toilette. Um, the one that was packaged as an eau de toilette and was actually an eau de toilette, not the one that was packaged as an eau de toilette, but was actually an eau de parfum. I've got a video on that if you want to watch about my experience with Bois nineteen twenty. Uh, very sad. From a from a brand I really wanted to love as well, um, but we'll not bring Villarese into that conversation because they haven't done anything like that. Um, I am just shaking my bottle of Onawara as I've just seen a little bit of condensation on the top of it. Behave! Don't do that. Uh, this is beautiful. This is a really good patchouli fragrance. Um, don't overpay because it is a patchouli fragrance. But uh, that's really nice. Very big, handsome sort of patchouli. If you like a big, you know, it smells like a big man, you know. Um, high, wide and handsome sort of thing. It's a really, it's not stern. I don't want to say it's stern, but it'll make people take you seriously. You know, it's not like a... It's not like a, like a silly little patchouli sort of thing. You know, you can get cheap and cheerful patchoulis now. It's very easy to mess up patchouli. Um, 
It's not a scratchy, screechy per patchouli, patchouli, patchouli either. It's a very deep, rich sort of patchouli. The lavender in it's really nice as well. Um, I wonder if they use different kinds of patchouli. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's have a look. It was introduced in 1996. I'd love to smell the originals. Um, you can't go wrong mixing patchouli and sandalwood. It's a, it's a winning combination. Again, Y1920, their original Real Patchouli, before they uh, did whatever it is that they did to it. That's really nice. That's really nice. Just don't overpay, because it is a patchouli fragrance. But that's quality. I really like that. Um, next is Piper Nigrum. Now, I've always been interested in this, because it's got a strange name. Um, I don't know what Piper Nigrum means. It was released in 1999. The perfume of all of the Villarezis is Lorenzo Villarezi himself. So I'm going to tell you the notes and just looking at them, they look really interesting. So the top is mint, star anise, citruses. What citruses? Green notes. What fucking green notes? Fennel, watercress. That's interesting. Never seen watercress before. The mid, peppers. No, pepper, sorry, not peppers. Pepper, clove, spices, what spices? Nutmeg, rosemary, elemi resin, olibanum, oregano, oregano, origami, um, petty grain. And the base, these are all smaller. Like, you know, on like Fragrant, where it shows like the bigger, like the, the more prominent notes are like bigger. Well, on here, these don't seem to stand out as much. So the base notes are myrrh, peru balsam, woodsy nut, fuck. I don't know why woodsy notes winds us up more than green notes and, and, and like, citruses. Do you know what I mean? But just, for some reason, woodsy notes just bothers us. Uh, anyway, amber, benzoine, Virginia cedar, and styrax. I am looking forward to this. Piper nigrum. I wonder what it means. Is anybody any the wiser? Does anyone want to tell us? This is going to be right hand. I've always been intrigued by Lorenzo Villarese. I like things. I like things Italian. I am a. I am a fan of Italian stuff. I must admit. So, earlier in my journey, I smelled a tint de neige, and I was determined to buy a bottle. And then I got a sample about a year ago, all ready to buy it. Just wanted to check on it, so I got a sample of it, and I was like, "Nope, don't like it anymore." So let that be a warning to everyone. Right. My goodness, that's green. That's really green. But not in like a not in like a not in like a um like a stem sort of vibe. Not in like a not not green as in like the stem of a plant like Oh, it's almost like banana. Do you know where you get like a like a green banana? It's almost like that. I'm getting the mint. The mint isn't like a spearmint. It's like a herbal mint. Um, I'm also getting the anise and the watercress. The mint's starting to come out a lot more now. The mint's starting to develop. It is becoming more like like a, you know, that not like a toothpaste sort of mint, but like a like a mint. My goodness, that's interesting. That's really interesting. This is a different take on like a green, fresh sort of fragrance. Big mint now. Big mint. I wonder what it's going to do in the base. That's a huge mint fragrance. But it's very different. It's got that toothpaste -y sort of vibe. I cannot lie. It really has that toothpaste -y sort of vibe. Um... I don't know if you can hear me, mother. She's, down, she's downstairs playing the keyboard. Christmas songs. Um, how do I feel about this? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I want to wear this as like a fragrance. It does smell a lot like toothpaste. Very interesting though. That's different. If you want to be different and fresh and smell clean and stuff like that, that's really interesting. The problem with first impressions is that you can't uh, 
you can't follow up on them and tell them what well I can't follow up on them um, so they are first impressions anyway next we are going to do this next and last we are going to do this Atman Zaman this was recommended by Thomas from Stumptown Smells he's got a bottle of it so I'm imagining this is going to be quality juice I wonder what it means. Ooh, it's a tobacco fragrance. New as well. All right, I will read the notes. S at the top, spices. What spices? Citruses. What citruses? Mandarin orange. Mate or mate. Flowers. Flowers? I mean, flowers. It's got flowers in it. Do you know what I mean? By their own admission, it's got flowers in it. How unusual. Mid notes, tobacco, vetiver, immortel, labdanum, mate again, mate, patchouli. Then in the base, tobacco again, leather, exotic woods, vanilla, amber, tonka bean, and musk. Ah, oh, I stop reading these things, I'm winding it up. Anyway, this is supposed to be a sweet tobacco fragrance, so let's have a smell, shall we? On my right arm. Oh. I don't know how many sprays that was, but it was a few. I'm not sure I should have done that. Atman Zaman. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. That's a lovely modern fragrance. I would really recommend that you get this sample set. That's a really good idea. Where have I put it? Oh, it's over there. Oh, God. So I don't know where you would find it from, but if you're in Britain, Les Santos had it, has it. And it's this. Um, and it's got 16 fragrances in. Um... I'm not going to tell you which ones because it'll take ages and I'll have to actually read. It doesn't say on the outside. Um, this is beautiful though. Totally different tobacco. Fresh at the top. I wish it wasn't just a bland tobacco. I wish it wasn't just like a bland citrus's note at the top. The, the, you get the orange, definitely. And you get like a tea-ish. Like a tea-ish sort of vibe. A tea-ish? You get a tea sort of vibe from the mate. Or the mate. Your mate has given you a tea vibe. Thank you, mate. Um, a little bit herbal. Bitter. But also a little bit sweet as well. That's really interesting. I'll have to come back to that. Um, and try that all over again. Uh, when I'm like by myself, so I can, I can go through it. Right, so we'll do a quick overview, see if I can get this under 20 minutes. Womo, how are you? That's gone very quiet, but it's fresh, and it's like a little bit spicy, and it's nice and fresh. If you wanted like a signature, that would be quite good, like for the spring and summer. Patchouli. Nice patchouli fragrance, although that's gone quiet as well. Um, it's dark that's going to sit near the skin that's really nice it is quality that so if you like if you like patchouli fragrances like patchouli dominant big deep rich patchoulis like syrupy patchouli that's a something to, something to look into the Piper Negrum is it's bonk as in a good way this is something very different from what I've smelled. It's very herbal, but like herbs, while like, well, that's like not in the kitchen, where they're like outside in the ground. You know, the mint and that 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 watery greenness. That's so interesting. I'm not sure I could eat a whole one. I'm not sure I could buy it and like do a whole like a whole bottle of it. But if you want it, if you want something outside yourself, if you want something different, if you want something that like the the mint and the anise is a bonkers combination. It's so strange, but it's really good. Wow, 
that's a bit of a find, that. You know, they say, like, all oh, loads of perfumes these days smell the same. That doesn't. That's completely different from anything you'll smell, like, in your, in, like, your local department store. And the Atman Zaman is, I can imagine this doing all sorts. It's, like, it's a fresh tobacco, like, but not, it doesn't smell, like, it's fresh and tobacco, but the two things are, like, different. Like, the freshness isn't coming from the tobacco. Or maybe it's like it's at the tobacco's adding to the freshness, but it's not dominated by by the tobacco. That's really interesting as well. Um, I'm looking forward to coming back to these and smelling these and seeing how they develop. Patchouli's gone quiet. And the warmer's quiet as well, but it is very good. It was quite successful. See, on a stick, the, the the lemon is still there. Like, I sprayed the first one on stick. Hello, stick. I sprayed the first one on stick. And it's still there, you know? Um, and it's it's still giving it big lemon. So, but it's nice. It's quality. These are, these are quite loud, actually. Apart from the first one on skin. That could just be because I've got four on my skin now. Honestly, that Piper Negrum's, Negrum, I beg your pardon, Piper Negrum's really, really different. Would I buy any of these on first sniff? I would consider the Atman Zaman, definitely, and the Patchouli. Um, whether Piper Negrum's got the strength, the weakness of its strength in that it's so different is something to think about. I've utterly failed in getting this under 20 minutes as well. But there we are. Um, yes, so, I hope you have enjoyed listening to me talk about fragrances again. Uh, no doubt I will be back to do some more. I'll be doing the fragrance rotation tomorrow, and then at some point soon, I intend to do a top pickups of the year. I don't know how many I'm going to fit into the video. It could be 10, it could be 15, it could be 20. Um, there have been a lot of pickups this year and there have been a lot of good pickups this year. So, yes. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video and that's something to look forward to. I will see you again. Ciao.